we are in the Amalfi Coast. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> Final leg of the great backpacking adventures. Who oh would have thought? It's actually sped by, like yeah. it's insane. But we're finally here, had the biggest travel day ever. Started at 9am, it's like what, 6.45 now, 6.30. So sorry if it's, the lighting is a bit dark, but we've come straight to the beach because it's predicted to be thunderstorming the next few days. Thunderstorms on the Amalfi Actually, Coast, like who decided well, that? It didn't even comprehend in my brain. I was like, what? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, but we wanted to make the most of it in the calm before the storm um, while we can. So here we are. <laughs> I think I just saw my life flash before my eyes. I was actually living in fear. It was really That scary. was like a real life amusement ride. But with like possibility of actual, actual death. <laughs> There's a reason why people take ferries and not the buses here. There's lots of beeping. Lots yeah. Of it was... Lots of near death experiences. It was quite something. But we made it out alive. And we're in a Murphy now. <sighs> I got the last seat, like the emergency seat, and Chloe got the one right at the back in the middle. But we've made it to Ravello, and this is the view. It's so beautiful. We 
just saw a bride and groom taking their photos. Um, so now it's decided I will in fact be having my wedding here. Scratch that. Chloe just informed me that it was gonna cost five to fifteen thousand dollars per person. So don't know. Maybe in my dream life. Gotta get saving now. When I walk down that street, I can hear you laughing loud. And I can't remember how you made that awful sound for Our destination. So yesterday, Chloe and I were talking about video games we used to be absolutely, like, obsessed with when we were kids. And it's raining absolute buckets outside. So really, the only possible course of action for this morning's activities was to pay the $1.99 and download Papa's Freezer Reel. If you know, you know. It's not focusing, but... The real ones, no. The real ones. Get the hype. <laughs> I feel like such an iPad kid right now. Jesus Christ. The music, like, does something to myself. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Why isn't that one of my favorites? Sunday I haven't seen. <laughs> what Wait. does Tony have to say? Oh, he likes uh, it. He, he's nice. I haven't even started Alberto's order. <laughs> the daily stats. <laughs> and then you can't see. Chloe's proud. Um, that took a lot of effort and stress on that left. Blood, sweat, and tears. The sun is shining, there's blue skies. I'm so hopeful for this afternoon. I just had the best grilled vegetables and meatballs from this little bodega. And now we're just walking to the bus stop um, to spend the rest of the hour in Positano. Some people think they're always right. Others are quiet and uptight. Others, they seem so very nice. Where did you get them? We need them right now. <laughs> Guys, these people were so cute. They just asked us where we got our pizzas from. Which we literally just did to other people. Yeah. <laughs> They're so good. Like everyone it's free marketing, honestly. Yeah. Um and then they were like, oh thank you so much for the wreck. You can use our sun lounges like we're leaving now. So, so look at this. Prime position with our pizza. Right from the beach. Positano Beach. How good, like, can't get much better than that. Don't, don't, don't get up. I can't see the sunshine. No, I'll be waiting for you, baby. Cause I'm through. When you live together for seven weeks and you start dressing the same. 
Yes. <laughs> Today. Matchy. Anyways, we're off to Maori today. There's a little trail between Minori and Maori called the Path of the Lemons. Um, so we're gonna take that. It's like a 400 step uphill incline though, but there is great views, so that makes up for it. <laughs> tunnel waiting for the rain to stop for like half an hour bought a coke zero because you know got to try one in every single place we go to and i've used a staff toilet in a bodega so honestly we've we've achieved it all what, it what more is there to see like i don't know i'm ready to go home <laughs> i think we're done, done. we need to hike back now <laughs> if you go why won't you go with me? If you're staying, then baby, why'd I leave? If I'm crying, why would you turn away? If I'm trying, spot on the Amalfi Coast called Fior du Fiore um, and it's under this bridge. It's so clear water. It's beautiful. Nice and spot. calm. It's kind of the same vibes as San Fratoso in northern Italy. Um, Supposedly. Supposedly. So we catch the bus from Minori to Amalfi and then we catch another bus from Amalfi to for it Fiore. It takes us like two hours to get here. <laughs> we left at three and it's 5 30 5.30 now. We waited for the bus for like an hour in this line. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I made good progress on my book, which was a positive. And then we're met with this. The water is Turned up and brown. I think like you can't even tell from the I camera. Think I think I would so bad. I think I would die in there. It's very dangerous. Um, so bad that there's like literally one person <laughs> on the entire beach. <laughs> everyone's left. Oh no. Um. Yeah. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the last Oreos to cheer us up. <laughs> My first balladay. Chloe on the Arabiatic. Yum yum. So Minori has this like world famous um, patisserie, which I can't believe we've literally taken until our last night to try out. Honestly, disrespectful. It honestly is, especially because pastries are basically my favorite food group. But um, we're just going there now to pick up some yummy cakes to have some yummy dessert.
Those cakes were absolutely sensational. We had like a um, moussey hazelnut like praline cake and a, like a strawberry, cheese, strawberry cake. cheesecake. So if you're in Minori, definitely come to Sadaruzo. It's delectable. But I thought we'd just pop on here now um, to end the vlog and talk about our time on the Amalfi Coast so far. So honestly, we weren't blessed with the best beach weather. Not at all. And when initially we were planning the trip, like beach we, every day. Yeah, beach every day, like that was the entirety of the our plan. <laughs> plan for the Amalfi Coast. Um, so I threw a bit of a spanner. It in was the a works. big spanner in the works. And honestly, we were like, what are we gonna do? Because you come to the Amalfi, you go to the beach. It's kind of its personality, its specialty. Kind of like Ken. <laughs> Be beach. Beach is what it's known for. It is beach. Um, That's it. So we were like, what in the world do we do? But to be honest, it was really fun being able to experience a different side yeah. of the Amalfi Coast and all those unique, um, different town. things like going to Ravello, going on hikes, trying out that little lemonade stand, which was really unique and special and probably things that we wouldn't have done if the weather had been a bit sunnier. So although it probably wasn't the video that you were anticipating um, when clicking, so um, it was still so fun and we hope that we showed you a different side of Amalfi and if you do come here and the weather is a little stormy there's still um, stuff to do <laughs> there's still stuff to do like play Papa's Pizzeria <laughs> in your hotel room you have to do that that's like yeah, number that's one that's the number one thing to do if there's a storm if you're gonna do anything that's all you need <laughs> <laughs> but we go to Sorrento tomorrow and the weather's supposed to be picking up and a bit bit brighter over the next few days so hopefully we can show you that sunnier side um, in the next video but love you all and we'll see you next time ciao